best friend Sam. We've known each other since before he had a double chin. Yeah. I would probably use you as a bat <laughs> and hit everybody with it. I'm not in the greatest of shape. But no which I, kidding. Which I am working on. Don't want to slide it. Okay. Who invited you? Anyway. I did. <laughs> hey guys. Today we're going to talk about something special, which is zombie apocalypse. Something we've had the question come up during live videos. But first of all, before we get into that, I want to introduce you to my best friend, Sam. We've known each other since- Before he had a double chin. Yeah. God, I didn't think- <laughs> Well, we've known each other since we were kids, basically. He's pretty much known me my entire life, so he knows all the up stories, everything you could possibly think of. And- I was in all of those stories. <laughs> but we never talked about the zombie apocalypse thing. It never really came up. One of the most common questions that I get on these live videos on YouTube is, what would be your loadout during a zombie apocalypse. And since I have most of those guns that most people maybe pick, maybe not pick, I don't know if you'd pick them or not. Do you know what you would pick? No, I would probably use you as a bat <laughs> and hit everybody with it. Maybe I should pick the shy tech. Maybe you should find reality. What are you saying? That gun is way too heavy for you. So Sam brought up a good point about weight. I mean, look at him, he's fat. So he could carry just about anything that ammo weight on ammo do i put a suppressor on it because that adds weight do i do 308 or you know carry that or do i carry all the shotguns you gotta think about all the ammo you gotta carry i think there's two categories i need to think about mobile and headquarters if i was at home i already know what i would do there i mean that's pretty easy but as far as being mobile that you know i'm not in the greatest of shape but no which I, kidding which i am working on <laughs> Not like him, who... I'm taking after my best friend. I will be joining the Chicken Finger and Ranch diet. <laughs> God. <laughs> who invited you? Anyway. I did. <laughs> but anyway, I was thinking about the weight, and I got to also think about the backpack, you know, food, everything you possibly think of. I was just going to say that, you know, all of that thinking, and then he had to take a nap because his brain hurt, and then his back hurt again, so then he had to think some more. And so this is really... Day three, <laughs> we've been sitting in these chairs for three days while he's been sleeping. <laughs> you're a the 50 cal is the biggest no brainer in here just because it mows down everything. So that definitely gonna happen. And the Gatling gun for sure is going to happen just because it's in 4570. I mean, you can't beat that round. Plus, it's pretty lightweight, I can carry it. <clears throat> okay. I don't even think you could slide it, Matt. Oh, I can slide it. I slid it. Show me. You want me to slide Show it? Show me to slide it. Okay. That's too bad. One of my nests is probably up here. <laughs> So obviously I cannot carry the things that I pointed out due to the fact I'm not a fat Neanderthal like this one. So Nor can you help but fart when you try. <laughs> you have no room to talk. <laughs> so let's start with calibers. I was on the fence. I thought about 22, but then again, I thought it's not punchy enough. So I figured I'd find nine millimeter. I'd find five, five, six, two, two, three on the ground a lot. 308 and probably 12 gauge shotgun. Those are the most common calibers that I would pick that I would think I would find. I would want to pick a 300 blackout, but I'm not going to, it's not very popular around. So 6.5 Creedmoor that I wouldn't pick. I wouldn't pick a 300 Wind Mag. Would you have that stuff in stock? No. Great answer. <laughs> <laughs> now I would also not go against larger size zombies so that I could use the smaller caliber rounds. Just make that choice. Fair, but what if you're a fat Zombie <laughs> is walking towards you of your size and caliber. What would you use? Probably a hollow point 45. Okay. Out of your gun that you just recently purchased? Yep. Okay. But would you have the correct magazines? The magazines would. No, no, I would not have the correct magazine. And no, I know what you're doing <laughs> for the whole world. He had a custom magazine made for me with a penis on it. It was great. Yep. Yeah, every time he inserts, it looks like there's a d going in a hole. I don't know. It is an awful lot of weight, but I'm a tough guy. 
I can handle it. Let's see you walk. I'm not running. Don't even ask. We'll go ahead and get through the door there, Chad. <laughs> oh yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> the first gun I'm gonna pick, pistol-wise, would be the Glock 19 Combat Master. I have a couple of Glock 19s. This is my personal carry. I like this one a lot. It's reliable. I'm gonna find nine millimeter everywhere on the ground, but reliable, not gonna break. It's Glock. So that gun's a it. badass. I love it. Yep. Second thing is gonna be the knives. John Wick knife. John Wick four Wick knife. I would definitely pick that one. All right, backup would probably be my Microtech. It's a little teeny guy. Put that anywhere. That would be my knives. As far as my standard carry, it'd be a 5.56. B and T, but what I was torn about, do I want to use a suppressor? Now zombies, I want to be as quiet as possible. So I said, screw it, and I threw it on there. Right here, I got the Howlson with the magnifier on the back. Of course, it flips out just like that for close or long. Classical stock makes it that much shorter, which it makes it more convenient, especially in small areas, which I dig. Very cool. Third one for like long range, maybe close quarter, maybe a little bit, is my SCAR 308 with a suppressor as well. It has a surefire light on it. It's got a one by six Leopold on it. It's just got everything that you could possibly need in a suburban site setting, even outdoors if need be. It also has a classical stock, which folds if you know anything about scars. It is, has some weight to it, but I'm kind of a beefy guy, so I know <laughs> I can carry it. So it does have a sling, obviously, so it will be on my back. I don't give a shit what Sam says. I know I can carry it. I was just gonna compliment you with the whole world on your back. Anyway, let me move on to the next gun. <laughs> next thing that I have on my back is a Chiapa 12 gauge. Now, everybody knows this from Terminator and everybody was always asking me, can I do the flip? Well, I've done it a few times. Has not worked out too well. Practice just makes perfect. So I'll keep trying for you guys. Pumps are good as well, but semi-autos, you know, they got too much crap in them. Things can go wrong. Would you pick something like this? If I had one, I would. I do like the finish. It's cool. Do you think that's going to matter in a zombie apocalypse? Nope. You can carry this? Do you think you're man enough to carry pretty, it? Pretty, pretty certain I can. What about the ammo too? You know, as long as there's no more than five. Okay. That's all that matters. Hey, buddy. You Come can on. lift this one. I'm just trying to help you out. No, I don't want yeah, you to die. Kiss my ass. It's a zombie apocalypse. You've been here a bunch of times. Which guns would you pick? Well, you obviously have the endless collection of just about anything anyone would want. Right. But I walked through every room, I looked at every gun, and I picked the coolest. Check this bad boy out. That's ridiculous. Yes, it is. This is so <laughs> freaking cool. Come on. It's cool, but do you even know what the hell that is? It's a gun and a chainsaw. <laughs> That's it? Okay. Is, do I need more? Yes. Oh. You well, need to know what kind of ammo it takes. All right, well, show me, Dad. Okay. It's a 249 saw, squad automatic weapon. So it has a saw and a saw, son. Semi auto, it's not full auto. Doesn't have a giggle switch, but that's okay. It has everything you could possibly have. It has, even has a pulse inside on it. Classical stock, because it's a para version. So mm -hmm. it could shorten it because I know you can't even scratch, you know, reach your own butt to wipe. I don't so need I to. So I know, I know good. that you need to make that shorter. So it's perfect for you. Do you think this would actually be functional in a zombie apocalypse? Well, I guess that's when we have to decide whether a zombie apocalypse is real. But for this, absolutely. And if you were a zombie, I would absolutely chop you down. Is this actually functional for a zombie apocalypse? Well, that was surprising. Very fun. Any questions? The saw works. Yeah, but that's not my concern. My more concern is now, since I've seen you in that XXL shirt, when are you gonna go on a diet? <laughs> and we're gonna, next time, come bring a bra. I am joining you on the chicken fingers and ranch diet. We talked about this. Sweet. Okay, I'm game for right. that. Okay, guys. So my loadout wasn't the greatest. Maybe I didn't think it through enough like I thought I did. I look pretty sad to be honest with you. So I'm gonna have to redo it and think about it a little bit harder, but let me know what you guys would pick. I mean, knowing what guns I have on my wall, if you guys have seen, 
pick something off of my wall or in my rooms that you guys would use. Let me know in the comments below. Please hit like and subscribe and thanks Sam again.